start, we are where friends would begin on this very site. It was the place where the Quaker Academy was built. It's home still to the Quaker Church, just the start of a very rich history. I just fell in love with the place. This is the first voting box. This is how a city of 40,000 people today began 124 years ago with a handful of Quaker settlers in 1895 who called the land on which Friendswood was built the Promised Land. This was the post office. In the historical museum, there are the artifacts of the past, but the real keeper of the history that, that brought me here is Mrs. Joyce Baker, who moved to Friendswood as a young bride of 20. That was in 1949. My mother thought I'd gone to the end of the world, but, but I'm from Wichita, Kansas. That was the time when Friendswood seemed like an outpost, no grocery, no drugstore, not much of anything. We didn't have a bank. Um, we didn't have a funeral home. <laughs> We didn't have anything that you would think of as belonging to a city. Until the time the Bakers opened the first supermarket in town, people had to drive to Alvin or Houston to shop. Those years preserved in the museum, housed in a replica of one of the original houses created by the Bakers. Upstairs, the way people used to vote, and when telephone service was finally provided, this was the switchboard kept in the operator's home. There were party lines, Ms. Baker remembers. The phone rang and you knew their number. And you answered the phone so you didn't know what was going on. <laughs> You'd eavesdrop. Yeah. Would, did you ever eavesdrop? Yeah. The digital age makes this seem like ancient history, but these bits and pieces of the past are the building blocks for what exists today. The city that the little town on the prairie became. Joyce Baker still living that timeline, seeing it transform. What it retains, she says, are the people who care for their neighbors. Friendswood is really different, but it's still a great, great community.